Um, my estimate would be is that the uh, radiation levels released in the atmosphere, if they release them uh, more than they have, will not be dangerous. That would be my estimate at this time. However, you cannot overestimate the fear factor that would be released here. Anytime radioactivity is released, uh, people are very afraid. That's why the Japanese have increasing, uh, they've increased their evacuation zones uh, steadily uh, through the day. And uh, it's, it's largely uh, due to fear. Uh, the radioactivity is, is, a, is a terrible fear-relating uh, factor. But I believe that uh, it's not likely that they're going to see uh, health hazard creating levels of reactivity, not with what we know right now. Let me see if I can understand completely what you've described as going on. When the earthquake happened, the, the nuclear reactor shut down and the nuclear rods dropped into a core and fission stopped, but heat continued to be radiated inside the containment area. Is that right? And the yes, problem that's a good is, description. Yeah. And the problem is that electricity is not running the coolant system and reducing that heat inside the containment area. Am I correct? That's correct. There's a lot of heat in there. You can't shut this down heat-wise very quickly. They did prevent a meltdown by dropping the, the rods down in the reactor. That's what went wrong at Chernobyl. The rods didn't go in, and okay. so there was a meltdown. So now that there's heat radiating inside the containment area, we've heard terms like the pressure is soaring. Is this why we begin to see steam, this radiated steam, let out of the containment center? Yes, that is what would, they would do. Um, of course, I'm not there. I'm not watching their control panels, but that would be the procedures they would use. When, once it built up inside the containment dome, um, they've got to let it out somewhere. And the reality is, is that the levels that they've let out now, even though it sounds like a lot, a thousand times is one report. Uh, I'm not sure if that's accurate, but even if it was a thousand times background, it still wouldn't reach health related levels. Um, However, they've got to do something. They really haven't got another choice. Well, Professor, we want to avoid oversimplistic comparisons, but you were involved in the investigation at Chernobyl, and the ones that stick in our mind, these nuclear incidents that st stick in our mind are Chernobyl and, of course, Three Mile Island. Does this have the potential to reach those kind of, those kind of disasters? I would say this will not reach the level of Chernobyl. Uh, and Chernobyl is a lot of radioactivity. Like I said, 100 times Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. Now, Three Mile Island, uh, it, that might be more in the realm of where this could go if the safety systems fail. If they lose power to, those, uh, that, to that reactor or to any other reactors uh, past a few hours from now, uh, you might reach a Three Mile Island uh, situation. I don't think it'll even go that far. Um, however, any release of radioactivity into the atmosphere creates a lot of fear, and, and that will affect the Japanese economically. Uh, socially, uh, it'll it'll affect them for some time. Well, hopefully, Jack.